In this video, I'll discuss the Bill of Materials function in the Inventory module. Start by clicking Inventory at the top of the screen, then click on the Production menu, and in the left menu, go to the Bill of Materials section and click on Bill of Materials Design. In this menu, you can register bills of material for raw materials and semi-finished goods that are necessary in manufacturing. It's important to register a bill of materials because when you enter a finished good or a semi-finished good, this will help you calculate the raw materials and submaterials consumed and will allow you to keep track of costs, profit, and material usage. There are two ways to upload a bill of materials. You can upload data through a batch upload or manually. This video will discuss manual entries. Before I get started, it's important to note that the items must be registered in the system correctly, otherwise they will not appear in this menu you see here. When you're registering an item, go to Inventory, Setup, click on Item, and then to register a new item, click on the New button. Verify that the item category is correct. If you select Raw Material, it'll appear in the Raw Material tab. Same with the Submaterials, Finished Goods, and Semi-Finished Goods. So it's very important to keep that in mind. Additionally, on the Advanced tab, click Bundle Item, and that will appear in the Bundle Item tab. And for a Multiple Process item, click on the New Multiple Processes, and you'll be able to register an item with multiple processes. So once you've entered the item correctly, it will appear in this menu. Click on the item code, and you can add the materials in the Materials column. Make sure that you name your BOM for easy uploads. Enter the quantity of your materials, if you have not registered the material in the system, you can do a quick registration where you'll enter an item code and an item name for making the bill of materials. When you're done, click save at the bottom of the screen. You can register multiple bills of materials by going to the new BOM column and clicking register BOM. This is helpful if you've modified the raw materials or submaterials slightly, even if it's for the same finished good. And you'll be able to apply it in the goods issued and goods receipt menu easily. If the column does not appear in your program, click Option, and then click on the Settings list, and you'll be able to modify the overview screen so it will appear. When you're done, click Save. You can verify the processes used to produce a good by clicking on the process step. You can view the usage steps of a finished good by clicking on the usage step column. You can verify the raw materials and submaterials used for a finished good or semi-finished good by going to the material list column and clicking view. Next, I'll discuss the estimated bill of materials. Click on Estimated Bill of Material in the BOM section in the left menu. In this menu, you can calculate the quantity of consumed materials based on a bill of materials. You can load an existing sales order or job order by clicking on the respective buttons, or you can enter the information manually. When you're done, click Calculate at the bottom of the screen, and then you can verify the details. You can customize the screen by clicking Option and then Template. Thank you for watching the Bill of Materials video.